What's up, guys? Green Bay Peyton is back, and today, um, we have Madden Mobile 17 information leaked, uh, onto Reddit, Madden Mobile 17 info, and I'm just gonna be going through, like, the new features, the sets, everything that says right here on this page. So, first, we're going into the features. We got... Quarterback scramble, which is actually pretty huge for me because if you know, if you watched my previous videos like on Mad Mobile and whatnot, and if you've seen my team, I have Ultimate Legend Michael Vick not upgraded to a 99 overall version with 99 speed. So to get him to scramble, run out of the pocket quicker, and get some yards more yards than I can then that would be actually pretty huge for for me because whenever I try to get him out of the pocket um and I try to get him to run towards the line of scrimmage uh sometimes um uh, it's either pretty slow or slow enough that I get like tackled at the line of scrimmage by a defensive lineman which is actually pretty hard pretty um pretty um it's hard to say uh it, it, it's not fun it's not fun so adding the qb scramble it's huge for the game and something low that has a big impact uh bulk sell of identical items i think this is what it means like if you have like multiple uh multiple uh of the same multiples of the same Multiples of the same, like, item, like, if you had, like, five elite trophies, you, it's what it's saying, you can sell all five elite trophies at once for a certain price, like, you won't have to put in one price, swipe, post, swipe, post, swipe, post, you can just go swipe, 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 price, and then post it all together, so that's something good. Practice games. I'm liking that because I was actually thinking about buying an Xbox One so I could do like practice mode on on the Xbox, which which would enable me to do like Madden challenges and whatnot. So getting the practice games, uh, depending on what it does, I don't really know what it does yet, but depending on what it does, I, I, I'm gonna like that mode. Training points, I don't know what the heck that is. Marketplace in adi marketplace addition to the auction house. Ask to buy. Uh, it's what's saying, like, if you're making a deal with someone, like, like say you want to, you're negotiating with someone to buy one of their players um, for, like, a cheap price, like, they'll just give it to you. Like, you don't need to go through, like, a whole auction house setup thing and worry about someone sniping it instead of you. You could just, like, confront that the the owner of the item and then ask to buy it. And so that, that might help, like, maybe a group of people who, who are trying to set up a trade of some sort. So that might help. Um... The ability to unlock trick plays, that's pretty cool. Like, they already have, like, a flea flicker and a bootleg um, in the game. But I thought it would be pretty cool to, and they have a reverse. I thought it would be pretty cool to, to have, like, wildcat formations, uh, more varieties of, of flea flickers, maybe a fake field goal in there. That would be awesome. Uh, the ability to bookmark specific sets. That might be useful if, if you're trying to complete a set like a like a campus legend or a position hero because that takes a lot of items. So to bookmark the set itself, um, that that can help because then you won't lose track of it. It'll always just be right there, just waiting for you when you come back to it. Uh, more flexible bench sorting rewards f in exchange for allowing the app to post on your Facebook wall. I'm not. I'm not allowing. I'm not allowing the app to do that. That that that's no. No, I'm not doing that. Uh, sets that are unlocked by completing in-game challenges. Uh, 
I guess it's okay. I think it's it's kind of like with the with the NFL moments thing, except with uh, um like getting uh cards. It's like unlocking sets to do. Uh, two new stats: throwing the run, play action pass. The PAC is play action pass. Uh, they seem to be zero for everyone on the moment right now, but who cares? Uh, promo cash redeemed via codes from various retailers like Papa John's, GameStop, Starbucks. I don't know how that's going to work because I've never actually did before. The defense, I don't really care about the defenses. Uh, they're going to replace the captain sets with team hero sets. Collect all 32 unique team hero sets by completing all the... Oh, so what it's saying is if you complete all the team hero sets, it will give you the team hero player and uh, a collectible that you can use and if you get all 32 of the all 32 unique collectibles you get the master player which is DeAndre Hopkins now if you have a lot of money at the start of the game I would say it's a pretty good set to do cuz the DeAndre Hopkins that probably that sounds like a 94 or 96 overall player to me because I'm pretty sure all these Team Hero set players are going to be like 90 overalls. Maybe 91 at the highest. Either way, trained in 40 gold players to earn Team Heroes collectible usable in the sets. And you got to trade in 10 gold players of a specific team. One Team Hero... Oh, wait. Um, so, yeah. Te 10 gold players of a specific team. Uh... So, like, if you're doing 49ers, Eric Reed, uh, 10 gold 49ers players, Eric Reed's Team Heroes collectible, and five elite trophies to earn that player and the and the hero collectible usable for the DeAndre Hopkins set. So, I'm going to try and see all these heroes really fast, from 49ers to Vikings. Eric, uh, if you need to, like, read through, you can pause and, and wait. So... Eric Reed, Kyle Long, Ray Mawaluga, Charles Clay, TJ Ward, Paul Kruger, Charles Sims, David Johnson, Joe Barksdale, Alex Smith, Anthony Castanzo, Demarcus Lawrence, Mike Pouncey, Benny Logan, Andy Levitre, Jason Pierre Paul, Telvin Smith, Nick Mangle, Stephen Kalach, Sam Shields. Honestly, since I'm a Packers fan, I want that Sam Shields. I have Sam Shields. Captain card in my team right now. Not gonna lie, because he gives plus two speed, um, agility to all my Packers players, and I have like I think a total of eleven or twelve Packers players on my team. So, anyways, from the Panthers, Trey Turner, Malcolm Butler, Mario Edwards Jr., Alec Ogletree, Kamar Aiken, Kirk Cousins, Delvin Bro, Tyler Lockett, Mike Mitchell. Vince Wilfork, Justin Fowler, and Stefan Diggs. Flashbacks. So there will be specific sets. Uh, there will be sets for specific players. They take season team week like well, plus flashback badges to do. Okay, so these the set is only going to be available on Friday. And so, how to get a flashback player on a Friday? Um, trade in. Um, hold on, I'm trying to look. Where does it say? Does it say? Okay, so three red, so three flashback items for that player: a flashback badge, and six elite trophies. Oh, they're, oh, they're all going to be for the specific players. Ooh. Okay, so it won't be like this year's flashbacks where you could just get any flashback player. It's going to be kind of like Legends. So if you get three of of a certain player's item and then a flashback badge, collectible, and sex play trophies, you'll get that flashback player guaranteed. And so, Game Changers, Veterans, Journeyman's going to be replacing free agents, but everything's going to work the same. X-Factor players. Okay, so these guys are pretty much going to be j just like the flashbacks this year. They're going to be 7 gold, 
trophies and 17 elite trophies. Every every player will have a plus one stat boost. So we got Alex Smith, Danny Amendola, Darius Slay, David Johnson, Delaney Walker, Demarcus Ware, Desmond Trufant, Gerald McCoy, Harrison Smith, Jarvis Landry, Muhammad Wilkerson, Robbie Gold, Thomas Rawls, and Zach Martin. Honestly, I really want that Julius Peppers because Packers player, and he gives plus, uh, plus the awareness. That'd be awesome to have Julius Peppers. <coughs> Sorry, game plan. Honestly, to me, game plan. Just, I don't. I don't get the game plan, so I'm just gonna skip that for the sake of video. Because I don't get what any of that means. So season score trading. So this is based on the season score packs that you earned. All except for the. Oh, I want to do that flashback pack. Flashback pack, five season score packs. I have 14 save up. I'm trying to get the 15th one. I'm definitely going to be doing one of those flashback packs, hoping for something good. Anyway, kickoff pack. It's basically a pro pack. It's going to be one pack credit. Practice field as your home stadium. That's going to be a pack credit. And then the uniform will be like a new uniform, like the Pro Bowl uniforms that were the alternates this year. That's basically what's saying. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Just the uniform, practice field, and kickoff pack all are one credit each. And the flashback pack is five credits. Time limited boost. Boost your coin bonus by 10% for the next 24 hours and gain more rewards each time you play the game. Same thing for XP. I don't know what that means. I don't know how I don't know how that will work. There'll be a boost that causes stamina to regenerate faster. Okay, that actually sounds like something good. Either way, so league achievements. So this is like what they did with the the Hester, the Rice, and and the Emmett Smith. So from the passing passing yards, fifty thousand, one hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, two hundred fifty thousand, five hundred thousand, seven hundred fifty thousand, and one million. And then rushing. Yards, it'd be 25,000, 50,000, 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, 750,000, and yeah, that's it. So, it looks like, it do, It doesn't say if you get a matchup player or not. I'm pretty sure you would be getting like a, like a 99 overall master player like they did this year. I'm hoping that'd be different though because that would give it more variety. Like if they did passing league. The passing one, Randy Moss, and then the running yard, the running, like, something like Walter Payton or Amon Green or something like that. Other achievements. Uh, daily achievements, just like what they did with the season score this year. Uh, other achievements, blah, blah, blah. So it looks like League Achievements, Season Score Achievements, and Google Play Achievements will be hidden at the start. They'll be hidden, like you won't see them. Okay, so there are going to be five mini games. Rushing Tech, oh, this is the one where you get the training points. And you can earn different trophies. So Rushing Tech, Linebacker Pursuit, Packet Presence, Field Goal, and Coffin Corner. Coffin corner, uh, I'm not sure if some of you know this, but the way you do it is you punt, you try and punt the ball as close to the end zone as possible without going in it. So you have to try and kick it to the corner of the field and hit like the one or two yard line. That's what you're trying to do. Okay, so... Views, there'll be a new view where you can see your, oh, so it's like saying, like, there's going to be a new place where you can see, like, your logos, your uniforms, your stadiums, all that stuff. Um, legacy team, the legacy team's going to be the same as last year. Trophy, uh, trophy room's going to be the same thing as last year. Post-game collectibles going to be replacing the game plan collectibles. Um, new logos that we can't even see. Live events. 
So these are going to be live events. Uh, there's uh, Game Time, which... Uh, treasure Hunt, which is going to be replacing Road to the Riches. Um, flashback Events, which is going to be like the 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 like the the final edition the game changer free agents the give you a chance to win a flashback item so um daily warm up same as now scrimmage same as now game changer veteran journeyman everything's the same okay game plan trade ins Bunch of stuff I don't know about. Okay, this is going to be the first batch of legend players. John Elway, Emmett Smith, Herman Moore, Dallas Clark, making his Madden, making his Mutt debut, Anthony Munoz, De Javon Kurz, Kevin Green making his Mutt debut, Champ Bailey, Lawyer Malloy, and the one I'm most excited about is, of course, Ray Nitschke. Now... I, I know you'd probably guess this, but I, from the start of the season, I'm going to be gunning for that Ray Nitschke. I really want that Ray Nitschke on my team. I'm Packers blood. I love the heck out of Ray Nitschke. I want him on my team. Legend sets. Oh, the legend sets is going to be like the NBA Live Mobile legend sets. Uh... Three of one collectible, two of another, one of another, and a badge. S well, instead of the legend trophy. So anyway, three rookie, three rookie year collectibles, two position collectibles, one legendary year collectible, and one legend badge. And legend badge can be used by trading in five elite trophies to earn it. So it's saying like if I if I were using a if I were using like uh like Emmett Smith as an example, like let's say his legend year was uh nineteen ninety five, um we would say that we would use three nineteen ninety collectibles because that'd be his rookie year, two halfback collectibles because those are that's his position, and his nineteen ninety five collectible and the legend badge to earn the Emmett Smith. It doesn't sound like it will use elite trophy, so that's really helpful for the whole community. Team set. So, five silver players, five silver trophies, five bronze players, five bronze trophies, and one gold player equals, it equals one gold player of that team, and 5,000 coins as well. Trophy monster Cam Newton, 93 overall, for 50 gold, for 50 elite trophies, and a plus two acceleration boost. And this year's mobile master is the cover boy Gronk, plus five catch and plus five strength. Other upgrade sets: five silver trophies and four bronze gold players, same same as this year. Ten elite, three gold, two silver, and one bronze for an elite player. That's a bunch of garbage. A uh, game time collectible, one game time collectible. Earned from a game time live event or in a bronze bar of the blah. Uh, Trade in one elite player and one elite trophy for an elite player exchange. Ten bronze players for two trophies. Ten silver for six. Ten gold for ten. Trade in, train in five bronze players for a silver. Five silver for a gold. Five bronze trophies for a silver. Five silvers for a gold. Five gold for an elite. Ten league versus league collectibles. To get the league tournament pack, one gold bearer player, four bronze bearer players, one league master collectible usable in the ma mobile master set, and a chance for a league versus league player or a game plan item. A uh, large quick sell. I'm glad they're changing the large quick sell. Uh, it used to be 1,000 to 1 million, which was really snubbing people off, always giving them 1,000s. It's going to be the same items, four gold trophies, five silver trophies, five bronze. But this time, it's going to be from 5,000 to 1 million, which really helps some of us out because we're sick and tired of getting the 1,000s all the time. Helps us out a lot. 
and then the mobile ma and then the mobile master Gronkowski. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be uh same items as this year, same way to earn them. Just getting a 99 overall. Mobile master Rob Gronkowski with plus five catch and plus five strength. Holy cow, that was a lot to say, but I'm doing it for you guys. Honestly, um, Madden Mobile 17 for me is uh, a week and six days away. I cannot wait for it any longer. I really want it to come like right now. I wish it could, but gonna have to be playing the waiting game here. Really hoping to get that Ray Nitschke, Julius Peppers, and Sam Shields near the start of the season. Really useful to have. And a good thing about, I would suggest, like, if you have, like, ten something, if you have, like, ten packs or something, if you have, like, ten or more packs, I would suggest, like, when you do the season score trading, um, do that, do at least one flashback pack. Because that's what I'm doing. I'm going to try and get 15 uh, season score packs. And I'm going to do one flashback pack. Honestly, out of the flashback players, which is, uh, where is it? Nick Foles, DeMarco Murray, Keenan Allen, Jared Cook, Ryan Clady, Mario Williams, Lawrence Timmons, Eldon Smith, Jamaris Jenkins, and Reggie Nelson. I can get any one of those guys. Honestly, I don't really care which one I get. As long as it goes for good money, I'll I'll be happy. I probably want Nick Foles the most because he's a quarterback, and at the beginning of the season, the quarterbacks go for a lot. So I'd probably want him just so I could sell him and get the money. And that's actually going to be my tip to you guys starting my mobile 17. I would say within the first month of gameplay... Sell any elite player that you get because I'm sure it goes for a lot of money. And plus, you can probably replace it with a with a good 83 or 84 overall gold that doesn't go for as much. It goes for a little less, and you'll get more money that way. You save up, use promos and whatnot. So I just want to say thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.